the food of love play on. Give me excess of it that surfeiting the appetite may sicken, and so die. Strain again. It had a dying fall. Oh, it came o'er my ear like the sweet sound that breathes upon a bank of violets, stealing and giving odor. Enough, enough, no more. It is not so sweet now as it was before. Oh, spirit of love, how quick and fresh art thou, that notwithstanding thy capacity, receiveth as the sea, not enters there, of what validity and pitch soe'er, but falls into abatement and low price, even in a minute. So full of shapes is fancy that it alone is high, fantastical. Will you go hunt, my lord? What, Valentine? A heart. Why, so I do, the noblest that I have. Oh, when mine eye did see Olivia first, we thought she purged the air of pestilence. That instant was I turned into a heart, and my desires like fell and cruel hounds ere since pursue me. How now, what news from her? So please, my lord, I might not be admitted, but from her hand it may do return this answer. The element itself, till seven years heat, shall not behold her face the ample view. But like a cloister shield veiled walk, and water once a day her chamber round with eye offending bride. All this to season a brother's dead love, which she would keep fresh and lasting in her sad remembrance. Oh, she that hath a heart of that fine frame, to pay this debt of love to but a brother. How will she love when the rich golden shaft hath killed all affections else that live in her? When liver, brain, and heart, these sovereign thrones are all supplied and filled her sweet perfections with one self-king. <laughs> Away before me to sweet beds of flowers, love thoughts lie rich when canopied with bowers. <laughs> 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 